So apparently this is the biggest and the craziest news in the world of fitness and bodybuilding in 2024. And no guys, it's not about any new groundbreaking supplement which is going to give you a good pump and you're going to be able to hold it forever. It's about the story that Jeff Nippard was assaulted in the gym by this big guy called Matt Van Wyk. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking like what the hell is going on because all the social media platforms, all the media outlets, all the fitness influencers are covering this extensively and I'm like here thinking like what the hell is going on? Are we becoming like a drama platform? I definitely hope that's not the case. But all things considered, what happened there was wrong. As we all know, the gym has a lot of hard, metallic and sharp surfaces. If he would have hit his head, if he would have hit his spine, he could have been in a lot of trouble. You name it, lights out, game over, it could have happened. But I'm really, really happy that he's okay. He got out with a couple of minor injuries and he will be able to recover and make the videos and keep inspiring us all. But at the same time, it's a little bit weird for me because not a lot of people are speaking about the elephant in the room, which is roid rage. So we have our model over here and we can clearly see what he stands for. And then we all know that he is a pro bodybuilder. He's probably taking a lot of drugs and people who are taking a lot of steroids in different combinations, it can reach to a point where they get this thing called roid rage and everything, even the smallest bit, it can trigger them and it can make them extremely crazy angry and they can take things to next level. And then when he's taking this cocktail of steroids and then when he's assaulting this guy for no reason really, just because he made a video about him, he wasn't even like rude, he wasn't even like in his face, it's too much. And obviously I'm not going to say like, oh, he's to blame or he's to blame, but I want you to focus on the fact that people who are taking drugs, steroids, they can pose a danger to the society. You can see Mike Israel, like he was clearly saying in his interview, when he was preparing for this bodybuilding show, he would be extremely angry, he would be extremely aggressive. He had like really twisted thoughts. And I'll just be like those mother <laughs> uncontrollable fantasies of rage and aggression and righteous anger and revenge. Mm. I know some people will be like, oh, what are you saying about steroids? It doesn't matter. I do believe that our industry is suffering because these are getting out of control. A lot of young people, a lot of people who shouldn't take this stuff are taking it. And then what's going to happen in the future? We're going to have an epidemic where these random kids who are not even competing, who are not even thinking about being a fitness model, they just literally go to the gym and they think that, oh, this is the right way to, to go to the gym. Because if you go to the gym, you have to take steroids. All these things is just making our industry fall more and more and more. And what I'm saying is I'm just concerned about our industry and I want to have a bit more discussion on this theme. Exactly like how Mike Israel approached this and he was saying like how he's feeling about it. And people should know that it's not only, you know, getting big, getting huge, it's also this major side effects and roid rage is a major side effect. It can get you in trouble, it can get you in prison. And this is the subject that I would like to speak more about it. I would like to have a discussion with you in the comment section down below and I want you to tell me your opinion. Like how do we actually get our industry in a better place because these scandals with steroids and with drugs they are becoming out of control you can see all these social media influencers or lying to uh, their fans and their followers so i would like to hear your opinion how we should tackle this anyway i'm not trying to sound negative i'm not trying to sound that i'm taking any sides i'm happy that everyone is okay i'll leave it to the law enforcement uh, to decide what is best to do uh, but I'm just saying that I'm worried about our industry and I want to see it in a better light. I want to see it more mainstream, but the way it's going right now, it's not good. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.